Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 as Denmark. Uh, the targets for today are Moscow and Petersburg. Hopefully after that we'll be able to vassalize Russia. Uh, but before we start playing, I have a question for you guys that doesn't have anything to do with Civ 5, but still I'm curious. So I was thinking I'll ask and we'll see what happens. Uh, I was thinking about starting a RimWorld Let's Play, but I'm not sure if you guys would be interested in that. So let me know what you think about that. Uh, making a Let's Play that wouldn't be so much about like min-maxing everything, strategy and tactics, but more about creating a story and maybe you guys could join uh a character that would be named after you and uh, we could create maybe some stories for these characters uh, it's definitely something different than i usually do but i do play in world from time to time off camera so i was thinking maybe we could do uh, a playthrough of that but i'm not sure so uh, let me know what you think about that guys and uh, i definitely um like welcome some uh, some feedback about that uh, if it's a bad idea or if you would be interested okay so uh, that's out of the way and uh, now we can focus on uh, c5 so what do we want to do right now we will have to get rid of uh, these ships around belgrade and on the other side we have a few russian ships I think now these two ironclads can join the fleet. How are we gonna do it? Move forward a bit. Also, today we'll finally get the uh, Pentagon and find out if we can get our free upgrades. My guess is, if it works, it won't actually be like 100% free, but those upgrades will just cost us one gold each. And that will of course be, of course be great, because we now have... Uh, so many units that need upgrading. Uh, what is this? Two, four, six, seven. I would be in the range if I ponder the trade route, but we can do it next turn when we stay close. And here, attack, attack, and attack once again. Good. Mm. You can go this way. I will have to leave an ironclad in front of Petersburg because there is an ironclad inside the city, so it will be too dangerous for cruisers to sit here. You can go this way, get some or provide some cover. Actually, he'll pillage the workboat, fortify, fortify, and now we can send uh, the cruisers. Do we have the room for all the cruisers? Actually, let's send the Admiral, it's probably a good idea. And keep attacking another one. We have one here. Let's move him forward. Um, If I attack once again, then there will be the last attack on the city this turn. So let's move back. Uh, you can move forward. Same here, if I want to attack once again with another cruiser, I have to move this logistics cruiser back. Actually, wait, I did all these... Um, uh, all the promotions off camera and now we have I think like eight or maybe even more logistics cruisers But I think most of them are here But still I have to remember that so that we have a lot uh, Quite a few extra attacks available 40, come on. 45 45 I'll just send everything into position for the next turn There we go, there's another logistics cruiser. You can move one more tile. I'll just get as close as possible. You can move and you can move as well. There we go. Fortify. The Iron Glond needs repairs. 
I also airlifted some units uh, north to Rostov, so next turn uh, we'll be able to send them to Moscow. Okay, let's move closer. How many cruisers do we have around here? We only really have to focus on ships first. There's another one. One, two, three, four, five. Two, four. Back. It's probably safer. Switch these two. Yeah, and you can see that half of the cruisers around here have logistics. Uh, two, four, you'll go this way. Attack. Wow, that was unexpected. Nice. Uh, we're gonna need one more attack here. Great. Much movement do we still have five? Good enough. Plunder the trade route. Actually, you can move tillage that work both, and now the iron clots can stay in front. Uh four, one, two, three. We have four as well. Is it a bad idea? We can probably wait here in case there are some more ships. Next turn, we'll move uh, multiple ships this way and use these workboats uh, to heal up everything. Fortify, fortify, fortify. Uh, I move closer. I don't see any range units, so it should be fine. You can move. Do a little bit of damage. Anyone else with logistics? Not yet, but I think many more cruises are quite close to logistics. Okay, and you can move back a little bit. Fine. Now I'll have to fortify all these units that just received promotions. Uh, submarine. What are we trying to do with all these subs? I wanted to send them this way, right? But maybe... Maybe instead of sending them uh, to the war, we'll just uh, send them south and get ready for the attack on uh, uh, on the Shoshone. Let's go where here. Fortify. There's another sub. Uh, Gatling gun. Come on. This is another Gatling gun. Okay, these subs will stay here. And finally, France settled the location here, so I don't have to worry about uh, especially like Indonesian city, but they still can get the city here. Well, fortify everything. We can upgrade basically all our units at this point, maybe except subs. But I'm waiting for the Pentagon. Should be significantly cheaper once we get it. Okay, now we can end the turn. What are you doing? Um, well, let's send the worker to Rostov. Fortify for now. Go. He's treaty. 
Oh, she's willing to capitulate already? No. Uh, I still want Petersburg because uh, the city has coal. And uh, of course, I want Moscow because it's capital. So even with the option to vassalize it right now, we can't do it. We would have to then return back and uh, take Moscow later. And I don't think uh, we are like pressured enough by Indonesia to just end this war and go after Indonesia uh, first. I think we have time to first take care of Russia completely and then switch our attention. Okay, uh, how many units do we have around uh, Rostov? And we're gonna airlift some more units. So what do we need? We need melee units. It's one. Oh, this can be a garrison. Why not? Here we have to wait for the next turn. And do we have a general here? We don't. Send him as well. Maybe one more Gatling gun. Fortifying, that's it, I think. How far can you go? Okay, you can disembark here. Fine. Let's go through the pop-ups, just in case there is something interesting. There's just uh, one artist. Let's send him to the capital, and we'll wait until this golden age ends. This is for 20% uh, for every owned theme. Great work set. Yeah, we are now digging up artifacts. We have another archaeologist that's heading this way. Here he is. So... In 21 turns, we might be able to squeeze an extra turn or two from this uh, artist. Let's send him to the capital, as I said. There is another archaeologist that will go this way. And the AA gun. Okay, to answer the question, why am I just disbanding or deleting all these new units instead of giving them to city-states for extra influence? Well... I didn't even think about that, so let's do it now. Maybe city-states that are not allied to one of our vassals. Uh, somehow we got alliance with Samarkand, that's because we finished that uh, quest to capture a city. We got like 500 influence from that, so we have one ally now. Almaty is allied to Shaka. Manila, where is Manila? Too far. I don't really care about that. Florence. It's the same thing. Panama is aligned to Shaka. It's France. Where is Biblos? We could steal Biblos from the Shoshone. And that we really care about the uh, Maritime City State. Uh, these two will um, become allies of our vassal. So yeah, Biblos is probably the only one that really makes sense. I'm afraid if I uh, flip like Florence, then uh, the Shoshone may actually conquer it. It's deep inside of their territory. Or, ah, maybe you should have such a decisive advantage that we should be able to protect Florence. Also, if they capture it, we can then just uh, liberate it and have a pretty stable alliance. Actually, it is worth it going after Florence. So... Um, hmm. 
how do we gift a unit? Yes. Probably wouldn't do this in most of my games. The, in other games, we may need even that, uh, I don't know, few hundred gold that we get for uh, deleting a unit. But in this case, we have so much money that uh, it's worth going after the influence. Uh, how does it look like here? Um, let's go with the arsenal and we have everything that we need actually maybe around Arhus I will get a minefield and I'll get a minefield here as well these two cities could end up being in the front line for a while so let's make sure enemy ships can't move around them uh, too quickly uh, you will get an arsenal Okay, now we can focus on Russia again. Uh, Russia, you are... She declared on Indonesia, right? Japan, Mongolia, yeah. And that means Indonesia is now attacking Yakutsk. So we don't have to worry about ships around here except these two, but that shouldn't be a problem. So let's uh, use these workboats for repairs. Now I'm a bit nervous, but we know uh, how willing is Russia uh, or Russia is to capitulate that uh, she may actually surrender to Indonesia. How is the score? Oh, we have 82 score and Indonesia has 14, so we probably won't be willing to surrender to them yet. But I'll have to keep an eye on that because that would be a bit of a disaster if Russia capitulated to Indonesia. And again, attacking without an admiral. Okay, let's move closer. How does it look like around Petersburg? There is a cruiser. Send one of our own to four, two, four, six. Attack. Ah, oh, come on. I'm thinking if I have to 
attack these units but i think we want to focus on cities just take them at the or on the same turn and then vassalize russia before these units will be able to do anything uh, we know only about one arranged unit so it should be fine many attacks three more there that should be actually we can use these cruisers as well right i'll just move away and that's three more attacks actually two more attacks okay Hope I'm not forgetting something, but I don't think so. Next. Mm, start digging. And go. Ah, oh, come on. How did that happen? Holy moly. This is how it happened. Well, I didn't expect that. Where did this fleet come from? One ship came from Vladivostok. I knew about that. But uh, the rest is definitely a surprise. Hmm. Oh, seems that I underestimated Russia again. I think if I can afford it to stay here. Two, four, six, seven. One iron clod. This one has to go back. Okay, how many cruisers do we send? We have two. Um, Uh, we don't have an admiral here again. Problem is, we also don't have enough iron clouds. Three, four. Should work. So also 
tell us if there are more ships coming. No. Um, pillage that workboat. One, two, three, four. This is in the range of the city, though. Ah. Uh. Wow, that was a lot more damage than I expected. How did we get 30 dam- or how did we take 30 damage? Hmm. I'll try to block the path of this cruiser, hoping that he just attacks, I don't know, here, and this ironclad somehow survives. This is not a good turn. This is another city that could end up in the front line uh, when uh, Indonesia declares. Mongolia can get uh, to the city quite easily. Okay, fortify, fortify, and we still can attack the city, but can we find an iron clone that would protect our cruisers? We can send this one. Why can't I? Uh, that's a forest and a hill. Okay, that explains it. But I can attack here. Get rid of the rifleman. Pillage everything that's around the city, basically. Okay, nothing al uh, around Belgrade. Let's move back a bit. Can't wait. And this should be the last one. Okay, 
Uh, when we check Petersburg and Moscow, they are down to about the same amount. 482, 434. So we might be able to take both on the next turn. It's just important that we take them on the same turn. 45, 45. Wait, you'll go this way, this way, and this way. Is that it? Yeah, everything should be fixed once we are done with these three tiles. Actually, let's send one more Mela unit. Here, one. Or what we could do is to send both these two, and when uh, more partisans spawn around Rostov, we should have more than enough units to get rid of them. Okay, next. Forty-four. Go. It seems that we didn't lose anything this time. We saved uh, the Iron Cloud as well. But it definitely surprised me how many units Russia still had here hiding. Uh, yeah. I thought that he denounced us a long time ago. Maybe it was such a long time ago that it already expired. There is Pentagon. So now we will find out if we have free upgrades. Uh, spies are more likely to disrupt unit production. Increase military supply cap by one in every city. Okay, so now we are at 153. We don't have to worry about our unit cap anymore. Let's see. Upgrades. Now. 340 still. I think there is like a cap uh, how much the uh, the price of upgrades can drop. 215. And it might be around like... Um, either it will be 66% or I don't know, like 75%. But we are not getting free upgrades. That's quite disappointing. It's still very cheap, but I was hoping we would get upgrades for free or maybe even get money for upgrading our units because currently the discount that we have is 101%. Okay, well, it doesn't work this way. These three expired. I'm not even sure which one that was. What is this? It's our capital. Mm -hmm. There's not much to do left. How much oil do we have? 24. Fine. I'll just get more bombers. Can we end the war on this turn? I don't think so. You're gonna need one more turn, I think. But let's just... Uh pillage and plunder everything that we uh, can reach. Vladivostok is surprisingly good city. With one citadel here to get the coal, it would have coal, aluminum, marble, iron. These two tiles are decent. It has fish. Wow, that's a nice city. Considering that it's almost on the North Pole. Okay, how do we hide this iron clod? Uh, this should be. Let's go here. 
to protect it from the north. I hope this is good enough. Okay, Petersburg. Might be able to take the city on this turn. Question is, can we also take Moscow on this turn? I'll probably be missing a little bit of damage too for... It's pretty close. Okay, Moscow. Oh, it's already pillage everything. I don't think we have to wait. If our units take damage, we can just pillage everything. I don't think that we can really take that much damage, at least not around Moscow. You can move, attack, I think with all the melee units around Moscow, I actually have enough damage here, but yeah, we have to wait for Petersburg. Come on. No, it's not quite enough. Oh, wait, there is another field gun. Hmm. It's three attacks. I hope we don't lose logistics cruiser. That would be very unfortunate. I'm a bit reckless during this uh, war. I want to take these cities as quickly as possible. I'm probably taking unnecessary risks. Fortify. I will upgrade all our units off camera. It will take a while to go through everything. Well, it's just... Uh, Oh, what are you doing? Fortify. Let's just play one more turn. We take both cities. Did we lose anything? No, I don't think so. Uh, take both cities, Vassalize Russia, and then I'll play a few turns off camera. I'll have to move everything south because next target will, of course, be uh, the Shoshone. So... Uh, the next episode will basically start right before we are ready to declare war. Or not ready, right before we declare the war. How much money do we have? 14,000 and we are about to get another like 30,000. Oh, still some more units coming. I think 
I will try to avoid killing units. We want Russia as strong as possible after this war so that uh, she can help us against Indonesia. More logistics, good. Another bomber is ready. Uh, travel ban, don't care. World religion and international games. What is gold for international games? Culture from world wonders, natural wonders, improvements, is added to tourism, receives three happiness and three culture in a city where it's built, not much. Uh, four silver is a great person. That's basically all you'd care about. I'd still go for gold, just to prevent anyone from getting it. Well, all that we really care about here is to uh, stop the world religion. And somehow we now have 15 votes. Oh, I didn't even know where we got so many votes suddenly. At some point we could try uh, to repeal the, the sanction. Or bombers, I guess. You don't have a hospital, so let's fix that. And maybe chanceries are becoming relevant now when we are getting some allies. Let's get arsenal here, though. Yeah, you can get a chancery. Don't need any of these, so it's gonna be another bomber. This is insane spending so much money every turn and still having uh, more than we can basically ever spend. That's court house. Wait, how did we finish a court house? Oh, we just got so much production from the towns we are pillaging that we finished a building in a city that is still in resistance. That what confused me a little bit. I can't really start working on anything and I already finished the building. That's funny. Okay, let's queue up a min monument. Wait, why is the rifleman here? Oh, they're spawning from, not from Rostov, they're spawning from Ekaterinburg. Okay, okay, okay. So now. Let's finish the siege. Take the city. Uh, is there anything interesting? Ufitsi. Which is really good on when you when you build it and when you are interested in great works. So you don't really care about that. And Terracotta Army increases a unit cap a little bit. But that's it. But still, it's still wonders. So let's just... Eh. Let's just puppet the city. We have already too many cities. And there we go, there is Moscow. Anything there. Sistine Chapel, that is nice. Lighthouse, oh, Lighthouse is pretty good as well. I forgot that Russia had, uh, had a wonder that uh, is still pretty relevant. And some of Prowlers, we don't really care about that. But both the Sistine Chapel and Great Loud House are great. Here we don't have a choice, we have to 
uh, onyx the city and we have again 25 and a half thousand to spend 12,000 here and uh, the other one 12,000 here as well okay now russia listen now it's time to negotiate capitulation peace out with city states a little bit of gold per turn how much money do you have There we go. And as a result of this, she should have peaced out with Indonesia as well. Okay, I hope I didn't forget anything. <laughs> Look at that, with all that extra culture we got, we all get uh, another social policy next turn. So that's gonna be enlightenment. And is it lined up properly? It's lined up perfectly. We finish radar next turn and get the social policy that gives us free tech. So with that, we all get mobile tactics to end their information era. Uh, You'll probably have like two tech level advantage when it comes to land units over uh, Indonesia. And then we can just focus on nukes. So, uh, as I said, now I will make a cut here off camera. I'll upgrade everything and send our armies south to uh, the Shoshone border. And when we are ready to attack, I'll start recording again. We quickly vassalize the Shoshone and then we have the remaining wars, uh, which is Japan, Indonesia, Mongolia, and Darius. We'll have to fight all of them at the same time. And what the hell is this? How did... Orenburg end up so far from the Russian territory. Hmm, whatever. So yeah, for today we are done. As usual, I hope that you like this episode. I hope that you're gonna join me for the next one again. Now until then, have a good time. Bye bye.